quiz variables can be used to display custom information in your online quiz and email reports. To configure variables, go to the Quiz Properties. Here in the main section, check the option Ask for Quiz Taker Information and click Customize. When users open your quiz, they will be shown a form to fill out. This form is how your quiz can capture variables to use later. There's a list of standard fields whose names you can change, and you can also add your own custom fields by typing in this box. If the condition dropdown shows Do Not Ask, then this field will not be shown on the form. Otherwise, you can choose whether the field is mandatory or optional. In the default value column, you can provide the quiz with variables yourself. For example, if you're sending this quiz to the marketing department at your company. Make sure you put it on the form by choosing Mandatory or Optional. The Variable column shows you the names of the variables. When you enter variables in your quiz, these names must be enclosed in percent signs. You can change the names of all the variables except name and email. Finally, the buttons on the right allow you to add and remove fields and change their order on the form. When you're done, click OK. Now let's see variables in action. Note that variables will not work on the intro slide since it is shown before the form appears. So let's personalize this first question by adding the user's name. Just enter the variable in percent signs like this. Now let's go to publish and see how it looks. Here we're prompted to enter our details. The name field is marked as mandatory and the department field is pre-filled with our default variable. I'll enter my name and start the quiz. And the quiz remembers my name. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.